Jordan Barnett, forward. You know, being back, you know, it feels uh, feels pretty good. Uh, you know, my first two seasons uh, in Geeson and in Vecta didn't uh, go as planned, but, uh, you know, I had some time to, you know, grow my game in Hungary. Had a few great seasons there, and uh, I'm happy to have this opportunity to be back in Hamburg. Uh, you know, really good, uh, really good team, really good organization. And, um, you know, it seems like they're really good building the players. And, you know, there's, you know, just, you know, great atmosphere here. And, you know, I'm really excited to be here and be a part of it for sure. Yeah, and I remember the most about the BBL is just like the competitive nature of it, um, you know, seems to be extremely uh, physical. You know, I remember that and um, just, uh, you know, the, the talent level, you know, of the players here, um, you know, it's just, you know, I just remember, like, you know, it was really good, really big league and, um, you know, great scores at every position, right? You got to be ready every single night. And, it, you know, and anybody can be beaten on any given day. Like, that's, that's like one of the biggest things, you know, you'd see the top team sometimes, you know, lose to, you know, the bottom teams. Playing in Hungary is, is, it's so much different than Germany. I mean, it's, you know, I think the players here overall are just flat out better. The German players are, you know, play at, you know, an extremely high level and a lot of them are, you know, the best, like some of, you know, some of them are, you know, really good players in the league and then they're kind of scattered all throughout the league, right? Like, you know, in Hungary, it's kind of like the best Hungarian players are all on like one or two teams. You know, becoming a player that could be um, a guy that's top 10 in uh, efficiency over there is, uh, I think it's just kind of understanding really like what my role would be and like where I'm best, like where I'm best at, right? I think mm -hmm. uh, earlier, I think I, I was kind of, I caught myself doing things that maybe I, shouldn't be doing and trying to like be outside of myself and trying to do too much. And I think kind of, um, you know, kind of compacting my game into like a certain area where I know that I'm the most effective, I think has been, you know, the best thing for me. And I think helped me have a really good season last year. Right. So just, you know, working on, you know, the post game and working on, you know, my jump shot and just trying to stay in that role and just be confident in that role keeps me on the floor and keeps me getting a decent amount of touches. So, I mean, it makes it a lot easier for me to have see, have a season like that. So. Uh, dunking on the court is, you know, it's, it's huge for me. So, I mean, it's a huge part of my game. You know, like I I like to play towards the fans, um, you know, having a big dunk and, you know, I like to, you know, scream after it, you know, it gets the crowd involved, gets my teammates involved, you know, it's just a huge energy boost. So, um, you know, whether it's, you know, alley-oop, whether it's a fast break, you know, you know, just trying to have fun with it and, you know, bring some, bring some energy to my team and the fan base is extremely important to me. And it's a huge part of my game and a huge part of my effectiveness on the court. So I am looking forward to Euro Cup. Euro Cup, Euro Cup. I'm extremely excited to have a chance to play in that. Um, you know, I was Europe Cup last year and then, you know, being able to, in, you know, one season, you know, kind of make that big jump to, you know, a Euro Cup team is, you know, a huge deal for me and a huge opportunity that I will not take for granted. So um, that's something I'm extremely excited about for sure. My personal item, you ready for it? Here we go. The good old phone. And you know I mean, so it seems kind of simple, but, uh, you know, I'm a huge family person. Um, so, uh, you know, I have to, you know, be able to have this on me at all times, be able to contact them and talk to them whenever I can, uh, family, friends, a uh, huge part of my life and they're a huge support, my biggest supporters. So, uh, being able to, you know, talk to them, you know, whenever I need to and, you know, and make sure I can check up on them whenever is extremely important to me and it's why I got to keep this bad boy on me at all times. So.